Hey guys, Brandon from Brandon's Baseball Cards here. Just a quick video to discuss something that I think is important, and it's how to handle non-payers. People when you sell items and they don't pay, okay? Someone last night in a group called Vintage Baseball Cards on Facebook put someone on blast in a public post and called them out for being a non-payer. That is not the approach to take. The approach to take is to contact an admin on a page and let them know you have a non-payer situation. So at the very least, they can be aware of it, maybe contact the buyer, or if the buyer refuses to pay, then remove the buyer from the group just to avoid future headaches for other potential sellers, right? Uh, because publicly blasting someone is a last resort, and there's pages specifically for that. There's a group called Sports Card Scammer Tracker where you can post about non-payers. But handle it with class, handle it through private messages, uh, you know, um, if it's on eBay, leave negative feedback, you know, uh, you know, saying they never paid, you know, or, or you know, oh, you know, make it known to eBay that, uh, that, you know, there's a non non payer situation, right? That's really all you can do non payment non payers. That's going to happen sometimes, you know, and it's also important to not it's OK to post in a sports card scammer tracker group, but it's also important to have try to have a little bit of empathy, right? Give someone the benefit of the doubt. Uh, you know, there was a guy a while back, I didn't do a video about the guy, right? It was a $14 auction I ran on a fa in a Facebook group and the guy didn't have the money to pay. And he tried to send me $6 and something and he's like, I have the other rate, I'll send you later. I need to sell some stuff. I was annoyed. I contacted a group admin saying, this guy doesn't even have 14 bucks and he's bidding on stuff. That's a major red flag. I was annoyed, but I felt bad for the guy. I honestly felt bad for the guy because if you don't have 14 bucks and you're still bidding on stuff, bidding on sports cards, man, I feel you got a problem. And I also just feel bad for you because financially you're in a tough spot, you know, so have some empathy for non-payers too. That's something maybe you don't, you wouldn't necessarily hear. Uh, I mean, they're annoying, but it's, it's, it's kind of sad when you think about it. Uh, but that's what I have for you guys. Hope you all have a great uh, rest of the week. Keep collecting vintage and open baseball. Take care of each other.